Hi kiddos, today I'm going to talk to you about formatting your research paper in MLA style, including the works cited page. First, uh, notice that everything needs to be double spaced. The easiest way to do this is to press Control A. Uh, this is the best way to do it rather than manually selecting everything because sometimes you'll miss the very last part with your selection and then you end up adding something at the end and the formatting ends up mismatched. So Control A and then go to the line spacing button right here and click double space right there. Uh, if the button isn't on your menu for some reason, then you can just go to format and then line spacing and then double space again. And that'll double space everything for you. Uh, let's start with the heading and the header. <clears throat> An MLA heading will show up on the first page only and it will give your name and then hit enter once and then the teacher's name and then hit enter once and then the name of the class uh, and in high school you should include the period number as well you should also probably spell English right <laughs> um, and then you want the due date okay you can either do the date in uh, the American style which is the month followed by the date followed by a comma followed by the year or you can write it the way most of the rest of the world does, which is the date's uh, number followed by the month spelled out completely, followed by the year, and you won't use any commas for that one. Next is the header. A header is something that will show up on every page, although some instructors will want you to leave the header off of the first page, but I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, here's what you do. Go to the top of the page and click above where you just typed the heading, anywhere in this margin. Double click it and that will open it up. You'll be able to see uh, that it's active because of this line here. Uh, you do need to justify this to the right. Mine's already done, but you justify it to the right by hitting this button right here. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to um, type your last name only, last name, and then hit the space bar. Then what you need to do is you need to have the computer paginate your paper for you. If you just put the number one here, <clears throat> then every page in your paper will be labeled as page one, which is bad. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to click on insert and then header and page your number and then page number and then you want this one with the page numbers on the upper right hand side. Ta-da! Uh, you can double or you can just click anywhere off of the header to get off of that. Notice that the title is the only thing that's going to be centered, okay, and that's this button right here. Also notice that there are no extra spaces above or below the title and that it is the exact same font and size as the rest of your paper. It shouldn't be underlined and it shouldn't be bolded. Um, oh, it's doing something weird actually. Do, do, do. I pressed a space, sorry. Uh, but it should be exactly centered in your paper. <clears throat> uh, all right, let's move on to the Works Cited page. So the Works Cited page needs to be the last page of your entire paper. Uh, and it needs to start at the top of that last page. In other words, you have to insert a page break. You can't just hit uh, enter, 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 enter. Oh my gosh, so many enters uh, until you get to the last page. Um, this will just mess you up, especially if you are revising your paper and taking things out and putting things in uh, after you've done that. Um, it'll mess up where your work cited page is. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to insert a page break. <clears throat> you do this by uh, going to the very last section, hit enter once, and then hit control enter, and that will uh, insert a page break. Um, title this page uh, Works Cited with a capital A, oh, sorry, capital A, <laughs> capital W, and a capital C. Uh, hit enter, go back to that, just click on it, and you'll want to center that. Notice that it's the same as uh, the title for your whole paper. Everything needs to be the same size and the same font. Um, then what you need to do is you need to put in all of the MLA citations that you've used in your paper onto this page. Don't worry about the formatting yet because I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay, So these are all of my uh, citations that I need. Okay, I just copied and pasted. You can see that some of the formatting is messed up, some of the margins are over here, some of it's bolded, some of it is uh, not the same uh, size, so we need to fix all of that. <clears throat> this is what you need to do. So you're going to select all of your citations. 
uh, get rid of anything that's bolded. You can do that just by hitting bold twice. The first time will bold everything and then the next bold will get rid of all of the bolds, okay? Uh, next, we need to fix the margins. In a works cited page, we have what is called a hanging indent. So as you can see uh, with the paragraphs in your paper, you indent the first lines, right? <clears throat> and you can tell the next paragraph starts because the next uh, line that's indented is the next paragraph. With the works cited page, it's the opposite. The first lines are going to stick out and the rest are going to be pushed to the right half of an inch and this is how you do it. Uh, with all of the citations selected, <clears throat> you're going to go up here and you're going to grab this triangle right here. You need to make it so that it is at the .50 mark, just like that. That brings everything to the half inch mark. Then to make the first line stick out, you're going to grab this rectangle just above the triangle and drag it to the 0, 0.00 mark. Now I can see all of the first lines. Oh, I forgot to make this uh, the same size. Everything has to be the same size. Everything has to be the same size as your entire paper, actually. So I'm going to do that, too. Um, now, uh, now I'm going to be easily, uh, I'll, I'll be able to easily see all of the citations in your paper because the first lines are sticking out. So if I'm looking for Murdoch, I can see it. Okay. The final thing that you need to do is make sure that everything is alphabetized. Everything has to be in alphabetical order by the first letter of the citation. So, uh, for example, this citation, uh, letting your research shine, needs to be above the M's because L comes before M. I'm going to hover my mouse over the entry, any, anywhere over this entry, okay, and I'm going to triple click it. Oops, triple click, Ugh. <laughs> triple click. Um, then <laughs> that is going to um, uh, select the entire uh, entry. And then all I need to do is drag it to where I need it, uh, which is right here before the M, and I let go. And ta-da, uh, it's all where it needs to be. So just make sure that everything is in alphabetical order before you're done. And after you've done that, uh, that's it. So good luck on your papers, and I look forward to reading them. Bye.